mitochondrial dysfunction in assisted conception. Now, one of the things which we do know is that when you genetically test embryos and you implant them, you have a higher chance of pregnancy. And because you're choosing embryos with a no normal genetic profile that are replaced. Now, let's look at this and see what does the nucleus take. The nucleus takes 50% from the male and 50% from the female. But what is the body structure or cell structure created by? The cell structure is entirely created by maternal elements. And that's where the energy is derived. So why is it that repeatedly genetically normal embryos may not be implanting? And that is something which we just don't have a clue about. And th there is more and more studies coming through. So this was a very nice write-up in Fertility Sterility, which looked at whether cumulus cell, cells that surround the egg, mitochondrial dysfunction seems to affect older women. Now, what we know is that mitochondrial dysfunction is enlisted as among the nine hallmarks of aging uh, and the somatic mitochondrial DNA uh, is maybe one of the areas, its mutations. They could be altered by genesis, they could be quality control, and all these could be linked to, to mitochondria. So what are mitochondria? And mitochondria are small organelles who are fund which are fundamental for relevant cellular function. And they look at energy synthesis, management of oxygen species, cycle uh, cell as well as program cell that controlled and metabolism of the cell. So it's a huge function to a large extent they are like the energy cells. But we also know that closer to ovulation and they uh, look at oocyte maturation, fertilization and embryonic development. And we, and we think that mitochondrial dysfunction has been proposed as one of the factors that may give uh, a lower pregnancy rates. So the cumulus oocyte complex, so it's a complex inside the follicle. So you can't see eggs on a scan, you can see follicles on a scan. So inside the follicles, you have a cumulus, lots of cells, which will go, go towards uh, supplying the egg with all its nutrition. And if the mitochondria is reduced there, you're going to see a poorer quality in terms of egg being derived. So this was based again on an excellent study by Lou et al in Fertility Sterility who looked at 86 women aged less than 36 years and more than 36 years. And what he noticed again was that in women of an older age group, they saw that uh, mitochondrial function of the, from the cumulus cells was reduced. Now, when you look at other studies, they looked at mitochondrial DNA copy numbers per cumulus cells in the advanced group has been lower. So there is some ideas coming through where we think that in addition to uh, the decline in genetics of or more abnormal eggs and embryos, as a woman uh, gets older, there may be a role of the critical part of energy synthesis and how the egg behaves and uh, including the cell structure that is around the egg, which is driven by the energy cells of the eggs, that's a mitochondria. Now, what we don't know is whether young women who have a low reserve may also have a slightly lower uh, number of mitochondria, and that's what we don't know. And this is still the cutting edge of technology and science, and hopefully we'll start knowing a bit more about it. And then the challenge comes, what do we do about it? That's where we don't have any answers yet. Thank you.